Good evening, everyone. An unforgettable and moving scene tonight in the southern tier as entire towns and villages lined their streets to mourn state police officer Nicholas Clark. A sea of law enforcement vehicles formed a procession from Binghamton's Lourdes Hospital, where Clark was taken after he was shot, to Troopsburg in Steuben County, where Clark lived. People came out to salute him and hang tribute banners on highway overpasses along the way. Trooper Clark was just 29 years old. He was shot and killed early this morning in the town of Irwin outside Bath in Steuben County as he responded to a domestic call. The gunman identified as 43-year-old Stephen Kiley. He was found dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Kiley was a school principal. Ashley Edlin is live tonight outside the New York State Trooper Station on Scottsville Road. Ashley, what is the latest on the investigation? Well, tonight, troopers say they are continuing their investigation. They're not saying much about what may have set Kylie off, only that his estranged wife called them to his home saying he may be suicidal and armed. Meanwhile, those remembering Trooper Clark tonight say he will be missed. A two-time All-American at Alfred University. It's no secret Nicholas Clark was a standout athlete. He even tried out for the Buffalo Bills in 2012. I mean, to be able to just eat, sleep, and train, and, you know, football all the time is just, it's been great, and I love every minute of it. Clark would soon go on to fulfill another dream, this time to serve his community. He graduated from the 203rd, 203rd session of the, of the uh, State Police Basic School in September of 2015. Clark had been stationed in Auburn, Ithaca, and most recently Bath. And that's where he was Monday morning when he was called to the town of Irwin about 20 minutes away for reports that a suicidal man had barricaded himself inside a home. During the course of the response, Trooper Nicholas Clark was shot and killed by the suspect. The shooter, 43-year-old Stephen Kiley, was later found dead inside the residence of an apparent gunshot wound. Little is known about him at this time, but News 8 has learned Kiley was the principal of Bradford Central School. Police would not say whether they had been to his home in the past or whether he had a history of violence. Governor Cuomo spoke at a press conference as the news of Clark's death spread. To the Clark family, to his mother, his father, his brother, we hope you find peace. Uh, in this senseless act of violence, give a 29-year-old trooper, a stellar trooper with a, an extraordinary record, his whole life before him. You know, the superintendent of the Bradford Central School said he will hold a press conference tomorrow. Maureen.